On the morning of March 3rd, 2018, I found myself documenting the aftermath of two derailments which occurred the previous evening during a monster nor'easter which brought wind gusts in the range of 55 to 60 miles an hour. The winds blew two trains completely off the rails. First, in Perryville, Maryland, the resting site of train Q409, which had six cars blown over, four of which ended up in the Susquehanna River, while two covered hoppers remained on their sides on the bridge. It's still a mystery as to why CSX didn't place a high wind band over the span in Perryville during the storm, with nearby I-95 placing a high wind advisory banning all truck traffic until the storm passed. Thankfully, crews from both trains in this video were okay. Some of the wreckage was able to float a good distance, like this GATX tank car, which was able to make it beyond the Thomas J. Hayden Bridge, which equates to just under a half mile. Crane Masters, who was on scene in Perryville, was also on the scene in Lower Oxford Township in Chester County, Pennsylvania, where just like on CSX, an East Penn railroad train was blown off the rails by insane wind gusts. In East Penn's case, the last locomotive, a boxcar, and a loaded flat car carrying pipe were taken for a ride down a small embankment before being caught by some trees. This one, while contained thanks to some foliage, still presented a challenge for Tara and the folks at Crane Masters.
Crews worked fast to get the last unit back on the rails while a switcher was brought in to take the other non-derailed cars away from the site. Thank <laughs> you. 